All right, I need to get it. Oh my god, not available. Okay, okay. Um, where else can I go? Where else can I go? Uh, Best Buy maybe? Yes, sold out. Sold out. Oh my god, where else can I go? Where, where do I go next? Oh, uh, the, oh, the, of course, of course, the, the real site. The, the they gotta have it. Oh, go. Walmart? Walmart's got it. Walmart has everything. Wally World? Uh, it's not even showing up in the listings. God! Yes, I freaking wanted a PS5, and no, I didn't get one just like the rest of you guys, okay? This video is just gonna be me trying to make myself feel better here, okay? With that being said, let's talk about why I'm okay with waiting for a little bit. But first, let's gush a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Backwards compatibility with the PS4. Ooh, I'm actually super excited for that because I missed out on so many games on the PS4's library because I didn't have one. I really want to play The Last of Us 2. Like, damn, please no one spoil anything in the comments. I literally haven't heard anything about this game, thank God. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I'm still excited for it and I can't wait to experience the game for myself. I also missed out on The Last Guardian. There's just something about controlling a colossus-sized animal that rubs me the right kind of way, you know what I'm saying? I did play the highlights of the PS4's library on a friend's console like God of War and 7 Remake, but there are definitely some that I missed out on just because I didn't own a PS4 for myself. And combine that with Demon Souls Remake? Oh boy, if you guys have been subbed to the channel for a while, you know how much I go cuckoo for Demon Souls. But past that, I really start to wonder, what other games do I really want to play that are currently out for the PS5? Miles Morales looks interesting, but I don't mind waiting for a couple months to get to play it. We already established Godfall sucks in our review, so check that out if you haven't already. And if you really want to get a PS5 just for Sackboy, I think you need to get your priorities in order. Of course, in the future, I'm positive the PS5's library will expand, and there will be tons of exclusives that a bunch of people will be dying to play. But for right now, I'm chillin'. Will I still purchase one when it's not an absolute pain in the ass to get my hands on one? Hell yes. If this launch wasn't so terrible, I probably would have one already. But man, like, let's talk about this launch a little bit. Like, I get that none of them can be sold in stores currently, and the fact that it's online orders only could be contributing to this terrible launch, and maybe they're having manufacturing problems. But I don't know, you'd think they would have been a bit more prepared for this kind of reception. It's literally been seven years since the PlayStation 4 released. Of course people were gonna go friggin' bonkers for the PS5. But to be fair, I really don't know how they could have handled this better, but hopefully things get better within the coming months. Also, I really hope people aren't getting desperate and just buying the digital version of the PS4. I know how convenient a digital version sounds, but when you really think about it, I feel like people who bought the digital version are really gonna get bent over here. Looking into it, there's currently no way to use an external storage drive with the PS5 to store PS5 games. Seriously? What? Why? That doesn't make any sense. External hard drives will only work for PS4 and PSVR games. Even if you have an external SSD, it still won't work with PS5 games. That is the biggest oof of the century. Why wouldn't they provide an option for external storage? Unless they're planning on selling us their own hard drive or solid state drive, expansions for a hundred bucks a pop, which is what I'm really worried about here. They're gonna be able to sell these drives to us at a premium, because you literally can't get extra storage for your PS5 anywhere else but from Sony. And you already know how necessary storage space is nowadays. I'm hard pressed to find any games that aren't under at least 50 gigs. Doom 2016 was 80 plus gigs. That's almost more than a sixth of the storage available to you on the PS5. So if you wanna have more than five or 10 games on your PS5, probably even less than that, you're gonna need extra storage. I just really don't get the reasoning behind not allowing for an external storage option other than them lining their own pockets here, to be honest. Not to mention, if you do go discless, you're stuck to the PlayStation Store. If there's a buy one, get one free deal on PS5 games over at Best Buy, you're shit out of luck. So if you can fork over the cash, 
I'd say get the version with the disc. Otherwise, you might end up spending less on a PS5 in the beginning, but eventually you're going to need extra storage, and Sony will force you to buy their version for a hundred bucks anyways. I just like the idea of having more options with the disc version, but if you really don't use disc drives anymore, I'd say go with the discless. There's no point in getting something that you don't use. But for those that are on the fence, I personally would recommend the disc version. Another reason I'm okay with waiting are these freaking scalpers, man. These bots are raiding these sites just to cop several PS5s so they can sell them back to us at double the price. I've seen people buying the PS5 at prices as high as $900. There are listings on eBay for over a grand. Please, please don't buy from these scalpers and end up paying triple the retail price just to have a PS5. I promise you, it's not worth it. Just wait. Let these stupid scalpers sit there with their useless extra PS5 and then have to go through the trouble of returning it. I'm not giving these people a penny. Puh, puh, shame on you scalpers. God. It's all right, guys. We're all in this together. We're, we're all going to get a PS5 eventually. It's just going to take some time. All right. Anyway, those are more or less my thoughts on the PlayStation 5 currently. If you guys were able to get a PS5 despite this ass of a launch, let me know down in the comments below. Share some happiness with the boys who haven't been able to get one yet, okay? And maybe I'll even sneak you some money under the table. You know, it's just... Yikes. Also, don't forget to like this video and subby subscribe, boys. Give me to 600 subs and I'm gonna buy a PS5, I promise. I mean, I was gonna do that anyway, but 600 subs. I, I want that more than the PS5, guys. Come on. Give me what I want for Christmas. It's, it's the holidays. Come on now.